Hey guys, Rob out here at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com out here in Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, we're dealing with about 20 to 28 mile an hour knots today and the current is ripping. Uh, I do not think I'm going to sea trial this baby today, uh, but I have gone through all functions and uh, I'm good. So she's a beauty. Out here today I'm going to try and do this as quick as possible and I'm running two cameras in case one messes up. As you guys know I live two hours from here so I want to get this right for you. Uh, initial video is up with the uh, show on the bottom and the exterior of the vessel because I knew in the water wouldn't be able to do that unless I dove. 2008 skit, uh, Scout 221 Winya Bay Yamaha four stroke 176 hours although I've had her been running for about 45 minutes already and um, revved her up a few times and uh, I've been through all the functions in the vessel and uh, once again hire a mechanic and a surveyor if you want but to my eye, uh, I could probably say comfortably 98% of everything works on this vessel. Uh, I have not checked the nav lights, uh, but I have checked everything else. And also the power pole seems to be tied up. So I'll get the uh, verification on power pole function. As far as the rest of it goes and a couple of broken snaps, I have zero complaints on this vessel other than she might need a little bit of bottom paint if you want to go that route. It is not a necessity. You are 100% turnkey ready on this boat. You are good to go. This vessel um, was just detailed within, finished up within the last three hours. And in addition, I just put a brand new interstate cranking battery in. The other one was about five years old. So just uh, for a proper sale to make sure you guys get what you're supposed to get, we wanted to make sure you had a proper battery. Um, you know, the power pole, the setup battery seems to be fine. Deep cycle. Uh, as you guys can see, if you want to just take a quick look at the D-top, uh, your sprayer lights, uh, you know, are all working. And in addition, as far as your court lights, hopefully you can see it here in the dark for at night. Uh, they are also, the LED lighting is also on and working. As I move forward into the vessel, what you see is what you get. Uh, forward padding really just the cushions are in excellent condition I don't see any rips any tears any discoloration really anything uh, that would alarm me or is going to alarm you in person that all looks good there are a couple of snaps as you can see one I probably counted about six which will include up underneath which you can't see uh, I think like you got uh, two here uh, one over there, uh, you probably a uh, snap kit and you're good to go. Forward anchor hatch, side coolers, also detailed and cleaned. This thing is a fishing and family fun vessel. As you guys can see, I'm trying to walk through the boat to give you guys that walkthrough. This is your tire kicking walkthrough. Now, I'm sure most of you know that have been following the post. Once again, I apologize for the delay. There's a huge waiting list for this boat. It's going to go very quickly. Please don't get upset. Um, it just is the way it is with some of these boats. I've done my best to try and offer it up to as many people as possible. And these are rare. If you guys can see, that is a lot of storage area. As you guys can hear, the stereo is working just fine. Those are new speakers. You guys can see we got one snap there on the back. We're just going to plop that down for now. You're set up for trolling motor, already wired up. Uh, in fact, let's pop up in here. As you guys can see, you got a uh, charger. Actually, it should be a pro charger, yes. Uh, you're set up with your dual batteries all wired up if you want to go with a trolling motor. That interstate battery was actually just purchased by me uh, about an hour ago. Just I wanted to make sure at any time we would see trial the boat that we would crank appropriately. Um, let me just keep going. Uh, let's go to the helm and then we'll bounce back out front. Uh, battery switch and um, you know set up right down there. I've been through horns working, fresh water, recirculate, 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 pump one, pump two, bilge, live well, quart storage. Actually, I didn't check quart storage. I don't see anything popping on there. Quart store. Oh, lights. Quart storage. I would have to assume 
could be in the wrong spot. Yep. All right. On starboard, we are on. I thought I was in the right spot. Uh, port, you need a bulb. So call that. So you're down one bulb, a couple of snaps, and possibly, or not a power pole. I'm not sure. I think the power pole works just fine. Now, uh, Lenko trim tabs with auto retract. Obviously, you're running up top your fog light in a sense, and your power pole, your stereo system, as you can hear. There you go, there. As we pop up on the gauges, 176 now. Showing a full tank of gas, and um, you know, I really don't know what else to say there. There you go. Compass, your charts. Obviously, I have to turn on the XM for your charts and your signal. GPS map 4208. VHF Marine ICM304 with Mike, of course. Here's your switch for your Ford and aft lights. So we're all good there. As you guys can see, speakers going all the way through. Rod holder storage, port and starboard, of center console. I guess I got that music too loud now. Let me turn that down. Hopefully you guys can hear me with this wind. This boat, I got to tell you what, when I first looked at the boat, I didn't think it was going to be this nice. But this is an amazing design. Talk about fishing and, and family fun at the same time. You guys can see right up underneath there. Right. And let's just snap that back on with this wind. I don't want anything flying out. Nice board seating. Uh, comfortably seven people on this vessel and fishing at the same time. Helm seating, excellent condition, uh, no issues. Maybe we could clean that up just a little bit. That could have been me. That might be just a little bit of sun wear. Uh, but if you guys can just kind of take a look. Rod holder on that. Bolster, uh, port and starboard. And also removable backrests. Actually, let's just pop up. Hydraulic jack plate, fresh water, raw water, um, bait wells, live wells. It's loaded as loaded gets. It's a lo boat is loaded. Anchor will can be conveyed. There is no safety gear. There is no fenders. There are no lines. This is your power pole set up in here. Dedicated. I'm waiting for a call from the seller to tell me if the power pole works or not. If he says it works, it's good enough for me because he said everything else worked and that's been true. Up in here is going to be our live wells and build you, well, live wells. You guys can kind of see. There we go. Now you're running two. I think you can actually hook up to three in this one as an option. I think that the uh, starboard and center. I think you can actually go all three if you want. And as we're walking through, fuel to your left on port side. What else did I want to show you guys? I think that's probably about it. She is a beautiful vessel. To my eye, you are about as good as you're going to get on a pre-owned boat. Only recommendations would be fixing a couple of snaps, a bulb. Maybe if you want to upgrade to a trolling motor. Obviously, there is no trailer in the sale of this vessel, as noted. I, uh, you know, you're more than welcome to purchase a new one from any dealership or look for a pre-owned. Honestly, if I was you, okay, I uh, would want to make a note of something. Up here, as you guys can see, let me just check this. All right, no zipper. All right, so you might want to change that out to a tea bag or something. That's your call. All right, so you're down a zipper, you're down a couple of snaps, uh, you know, ticky-tack stuff. Bottom paint is bottom paint. Um, you know, that is what it is. I can't do anything about that. But overall, a very functioning vessel, extremely clean. I really like the fact that they have those backrests uh, set up for uh, coming off. The swim ladder is set up in there. I got to figure out how to open that hatch. I think there's a key to open it. Uh, that's the only thing me and the detailer couldn't get figured out. So overall, 2008 Scout, 221, Winya Bay, excellent condition as far as I'm concerned for the model year. Now a lot of guys would say, you know, well it's not excellent, but you know, for a 2008, you are in there. And now uh, Seafoam Green just presents beautifully. 
So anyway, that'll about do it. The only other thing I can do is, depending if I get nut ballsy enough to take it out on sea trial, but honestly, I'm not really worried about it in the least. And uh, on top of the fact, I really don't know this waterway very well. So anyway, Rob and I'm always in hotwater.com. Wishing you guys a great and safe boating day. I wish everybody good luck in purchasing this vessel. Uh, you know, and for those that do, or uh, reasonable offers may be considered on an offer sheet. A deposit is required to schedule for formal inspections. And uh, if you're really interested, start checking on a trailer. So anyway, Rob out here at I'm always in hotwater.com. Beautiful 2008. Winya Bay 221. Charleston. Signing off.